Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh my beautiful people welcome back again to my channel thank you so much for clicking thanks for coming back if you are new here you're welcome my new subscribers jazakumullahu khairan and please if you haven't subscribed yet kindly click on the subscribe button subscribe to host tv like my video share it share with your friends and family comment down below and i'll really appreciate jazakumullahu khairan and inshallah in today's video i'm going to be talking about the misconception especially by the non-muslims they condemn this marriage saying that the prophet got married to a child the misconceptions of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam marriage to Umul Mu'minin, mother of believer Aisha radiallahu anha. So in my last video, my previous video, I spoke about their engagement. So how the Prophet got married to mother of believers Aisha radiallahu anha. And we knew from that video the details of their engagement and all that. So if you haven't watched the video, you can click and find it out and watch it. You really enjoy it. So inshallah in today's video is about the misconceptions. So people condemning his marriage to Aisha radiallahu anha. They saw it as something wrong. They said it was child abuse. And how can the prophet be getting married to a little girl that was just six years old? And these hadiths they were talking about, that Aisha radiallahu anha stated that she was six when the prophet got engaged to her, was narrated by half, by Aisha herself. So for her to be able to remember when she was engaged, do we still think she, she was a little girl? Yes, she might be little in age, but a sense of thinking, she wasn't little. So she narrated, she said, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam engaged her when she was six years old and married her when she was nine. If we should look straightly to this, we'll notice that there is nothing wrong in the marriage. I, Sharadi Allah and her, was physically fit for the marriage. She was mentally fit for the marriage. Her health was capable for the marriage. So it's not as if she was being forced for that marriage, no. And we shouldn't forget that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was the one Allah has praised in the Quran. Allah said, Inna kala adim, person with the most perfect character. So the person with the most perfect character, how do you think the prophets we we consummate Aisha when he knew that she was little and she was not um fit enough for him? You understand what I'm trying to say? So the prophet consider he can never contradict what is preaching. So Islam didn't condemn this marriage. In short, People of their time in their society, they are marrying in that age. And if we should listen to that story about their engagement, we'll notice that Aisha was already engaged. Then her father went to those people to tell them that if they were still interested. So it shows that in their society, that was something normal. It was just normal thing to do. Even Prophet Muhammad's friend, Umar, read aloud, and Umar bin Khattab, he got married to daughter of Ali, Umar Kulthum, when she was young too. Even the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he married someone that was older than him. Khadija was older than the Prophet. Um, so that the second wife of the Prophet was also older than the Prophet. And Zainab bin to Khuzayma, the wife of the Prophet, was also older than the Prophet. So age is not a problem in marriage. What is the problem is that the people getting married, are they fit to be married to one another or they are not fit? If they are fit, then what is the problem? Even at this time of their marriage, those who hated the Prophet so much, like the Mushrikeen, Abu Lahab, Abu Jahal, 
They didn't use that marriage against the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. They called the Prophet madman, magician. They insulted him a lot. But not for once we ever heard it or was recorded that they abused him or said something against his marriage to Aisha. This is to tell us that their marriage was just something normal in the society. And the Prophet did something normal in the society. People are marrying and he also married. So I think the problem is not their marriage. But that questioning of non-believer on their marriage is the problem. So their question is the problem and not what the Prophet did. Aisha was not being forced and she always appreciates the prophet she admires him a lot she says so many good things about the prophet so who are we to condemn who are we to condemn so it's not every question that should have an answer to there are some questions that are meaningless that some people just ask questions they don't go deeply even you can't compare the nine years old of then to the nine years old of now so if someone is not matured enough to get married we shouldn't force them even if she is older and she is at the age of marriage if she is not fit for that marriage it is not acceptable in islam to marry her so i hope i'm able to say something about um why the prophet is not being wrong for marrying Aisha Allah and her and Jazakumullahu khair and thanks for watching thanks for clicking please don't forget to subscribe wa jazakumullahu khairan assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh